All right, pull up our handy dandy email and move this over. You have a work email. That's the lowest one. Five six twenty three. Five point six twenty three slash eight. So this is number eight on your online homework. It looks like number twenty three in your book on on five point six. Is it a test question? Yes. It is a test question. How do I know? Because I would put something like that on the test. Why? Why would I put that on the test? Huh? No. But that's a good answer. Why would I put it on the test? Something real simple. That's it, the negative. Good job. That's what I want you to do. I want you to factor out not only the common factor, but I want you to factor out the negative because you can't factor a trinomial. It's much more difficult to factor a trinomial with a negative in front. So factor out the negative first. And for those who can't read it, let me blow it up a little bit, Anna, please. Hmm? That's when you use the distributive law. We're not using the distributive law. We're using the factor, and it's the opposite of the distributive law. What? What? Why? Why are you talking to people? I need to call security. That's a lost phone. Yeah. I'll call security. That's okay. You can I'll I'll have them escort you out. That's okay. I'm scared of bees. Scared of bees, I'm scared of bees. I believe they're I believe they're the same thing. Okay, are you gonna work on the problem or not? Well kill it. Well kill it, it's on your foot. No 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 no, you don't need to fool with it. If it's on your foot, just leave it alone. Mm -mm, because if I stomp it and miss and he gets stung, he's going to sue me and I'm going to live in a ditch. Like it, it's yeah, you're going to have to roll up a newspaper or something, but nobody's got a newspaper. Stomp it. Oh, oh. that's good. <laughs> that's not a cloth. That's a dirt dog. Oh, because that makes it better. Dirt dog or not white? Dirt daubers are black. Well, I'm not going to kill something that ain't going to hurt you. I'm sorry. How's it going to hurt you if you don't bite? Doesn't it sting? No. A dirt dauber makes little mud things on the sides of Leave them alone. All right, I'm going to call security. Why do I why do I get these glasses? I just don't understand. I don't understand why I get these glasses. I think it's because maybe we have acted in the past, I don't know. Just talking to myself. Yeah, because y'all don't interact with me, so I don't know why I even talk, period. I think y'all have a class before class that says, How can we piss him off today? Let's not talk to him today. That's all right. I can have Dr. Gabadi come in here and substitute for a week. 
or two. He's one of the teachers at the Pendleton campus. He starts with, at 10 o'clock, he'll start on page 300, and by the end of the hour, you'll be on page 400. <laughs> That's better. That's better. My weekend was good. I passed out a couple of times. And and just drinking this all. You know, depressive, depressive drink, drinker, alcoholic. Got drunk on the tractor and ran in the tree. Yep. Huh? Yeah, just, that's it. Actually, I bailed hay, so. Sang the Star, Star Spangled Banner twice, Saturday. That was kind of aggravating, having to do that. I told him I would do it. Alright, so. Bring it down, Hannah. Please. So we're going to factor out, I always tell, I told you the other day, when you factor out a common term with exponents, you always go with the what? Lowest exponent. So negative 2a squared. So that's going to leave you with a squared. Minus 10a. Minus 25 plus one. And what do we have here? Shortcut number two, Hubert. Thank you, class. So negative 2a squared times a minus 5 one squared. Divided by 2a squared. When you factor, you divide. When you multiply, you distribute. Or when you distribute, you multiply. They're the opposites. What happened to my answer? Oh, it was? Okay, well, did I hope I got it right? Of course I did. <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry, I can't hear myself think. Alright, next one. I'm looking to see if there was any more. We did that one last week, last time. that one last time. Okay, I just want to make sure. Alright. 5.623 slash 8. Did I do that one? That's the one I just did. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm covering everybody's. And plus, this email, it, this email used to be when you clicked on an email, it was bold. And then you clicked on it, it became unbold. Now it don't do it. So now you don't know what you pulled up and what you haven't. So it's Bush's fault. 5.645.13. 5 5.645.13. All right. Can't factor out anything. So, 
How do you know it's not a shortcut? Because you can't take square root of 3 and 15, Hubert. That's right, class. And you know that because you know your perfect what? Squares. So, if you can't factor it using perfect squares or the shortcuts, then you have to revert back to the what? F-O-I-L. minus 15 d squared. Break up the first term. Now, it's hard to mess up the first term. Why is it hard to mess up 3c squared? It's prime. So 1c and 3c. Why do I put the 1 first? Because we read left to right all of our lives. Now, 15 is 1, 15, 3, and 5. These two go together and these two go together. We need a 4. Now, when you're doing, when A is not equal to 1, you've got to use the trial and error method. And the trial and error method depends on two things. The outside and the what? The outside and the inside gives you the middle term. So that's what you have to focus on. So, let's put, let's start with the 1 and 15. So I'm going to put a little 1 here and a little 15 here. And that's going to give us 15 and 3. What will 15 and 3 give us? Huh? 12 and 18. We need a 4. A 4. So that's not going to do us any good. So we take our handy dandy undo button. And we undo the 15 and the 1. And then we what? Flip it. So we'll put a 15 here. And a 1 here. Now, if you missed the reverse FOIL, we went over it a couple of days ago on the video, so you need to go back to the video if you missed that day. All right, so 1 and 45. Do we even need to think about that? No. no. So, what can we say about 15 and 1? It's out. So, either this is prime or we're going to use 3 and 5 somewhere. So, I'm going to put it in. We'll put a 3 here, since we read left and right, and 5 here. That'll give us a 5 and a what? 5 and 9 will give us, it also gives 13, but we want 4. So 3 and 5, let's try. Oh, And this sign right here tells us that the 9 is going to be what? And this sign right here tells us it's going to be like or unlike. And then D goes right here. And D goes right here. So your answer is C plus 3D times 3C minus 5D. And that's the same thing because 2 times 3 is the same as what? 3 times 2, Hubert. That's right, class. So if you put the 3C minus 5D in front, you're multiplying by C plus. This is 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So multiplication, it doesn't matter which order you put it in. Capiche? Let's go over another one. Because that's the one, these, these problems right here are the one that gives everybody the fits. So, is that the same, same thing? Yeah, that's the same thing. Um, 
definitely go back here and pick out one that's different. Chapters is five. Try that one. give us a smaller number because 21 and 3, what does 21 and 3 give us? 21 times 3 will give you what? Dang old 63? That's not going to help us, is it? Well, let's put 12 over here, 21 over here. 21 and 3, what's that going to give us? It's not going to give us 2. So, usually, I'll give you a hint. Whenever this number right here is pretty small. Whenever it's pretty small in relation to these two, or one of them, then you pretty much can go with the middle two numbers. But if this number was like a 47, or a 52, or a big number compared to these two numbers, then chances are you've used the 21 because it'll give you a 63. So you can't go with that 100% of the time, but you can go with it a you know, most of the time. So, I'm going to put a 3 here and a 7 here. That'll give us a 7 and a 9. That'll work. Now, you notice I'm not worried about the variables. Why am I not worried about the variables? Because you can add those in when? Anytime. So, don't sit there and say, oh, well, he didn't put a W. Don't worry about that. Worry about that at the end of the because what's your biggest concern on these problems? What's going what's to make them wrong? The numbers? No. The what? The signs. The signs is going to be wrong. Because what will 1 times 21 always give you? And what will 3 times 7 always give you? Mm -hmm. And what will 1 times 3 always give you? So the only thing that's going to mess you up is the signs. So what do we need here? A positive. So that means the biggest number has to be positive. Nine or seven? 
9 is bigger than 7. And then what is... Okay, we have a problem. We may have to do something else. Okay, that's a negative. Okay, that's a positive. Alright, so what does that negative mean right here? Like or unlike? So is that positive? B plus 3. Uh, B plus 3, W. Don't forget it's W. If you say W, that means you're racist, even with Southern. You gotta say W. W. You ever notice that on the commercials? If you want to contact online, contact us at www. You might be on the other that before. Huh? Uh, figure figure. Yeah, that's what I figured. I still say W. I don't say W. I got my W on there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you three or four reverse FOILs in your notes. What do you notice about the way that I do the reverse FOIL method? Do I do it the same way every single time? Yeah. I mean, I follow the same what? Steps. I follow the same steps. I follow the same method. I don't change horses in midstream. I don't say, oh, well, let's do it this way this time. No. You do it the same way every time. You break up the first term, starting with one. You break up the last term, starting with one. You find the combo, the outside and the inside, to give you the middle term. Then, you look at the middle term sign, and then you look at the last term sign. Yes, sir? Uh, whenever you use the one, are you only using that with the prime numbers? The reason you use the one is because sometimes a teacher will put a problem in reverse FOIL, and and the only answer is the ones. But you won't think of the ones because most of the time when people do the reverse FOIL, you think of multiplication tables. Like when I say six times, when I say 54, you say six times nine. You don't say one times 54 or two times 27. So sometimes teachers will throw one on there and the only answer is the one in the 27 or the one in the 54. And you'll sit there and stare for 30 minutes and you're thinking six times nine the whole time. That's why. That's why I always tell students to start with one. Okay. All right, that's that question. I think I've covered that. And let's go back to the handy dandy homework questions. All right, that was 5.645. So. 5.645. I think this one down here. 52. 5.752211. 5.752211. All right, solve. Now the first thing I would do here is set equal to what? Set equal to zero. So that means bring everything from the right-hand side over to the left. Why am I not saying take everything from the left-hand side to the right? Because S squared is already what? Positive. And if S squared is positive, it ain't broke. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now what if it was negative x squared? You take it over to the right hand side and then somebody would have a cardio infarction. Move something to the right hand side. You can't do that. Whatever. S squared minus S is equal to 36 plus 4S.
Now bring it back down, Anna. Please. Then we've got s squared minus s minus 4s minus 36. And what's in front of this s right here? One. So s squared minus what? You owe one dollar, you owe four dollars, you owe five dollars. Now we got a problem. Is it a shortcut? No, it is not. Well, why is it? It's got an s squared and 36. Yeah, but what is this? Negative. negative and there's no shortcut with a negative c. Either. And you know that because you know the shortcut by heart. So, reverse FOIL. And 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 3 and 12. 4 and 9. 6 and 6. Let's see what the first two gives us. What does 1 and 36 give us if we outside and inside combine them? What would it give us? 37 and 35. So that doesn't help us. We want 5. 2 and 18 gives us a 20 or a 16. Doesn't help us. 3 and 12 gives us a 15 or a what? 9. Doesn't help us. Four nine. Hey, that gives us a thirteen or a what? Thirteen or a five. Possibility. Six and six gives us a twelve or a what? Zero. So that doesn't work. So there's our four and our nine. We're gonna go put a four here and a nine here. What sign is the negative? I meant five. five. What sign is the five? It's a negative. So that means the nine has to be what? And this tells us what? Unlike. So, and that's equal to zero. And the what is the rule with a equation equal to zero? If something is multiplied to equal to zero, that means one of them has to be what? Zero. Either that one's zero or that one's zero, depending on where the number is. You could have a four here. Or zero times four is equal to zero. So one of them has to be zero. So you have to set each one of these equal to zero to see what you get. S plus four is equal to zero. And S minus nine is equal to zero. And negative four and positive nine is your answers because those two numbers will give you zero in this problem. Now, it says type an integer, use a comma to separate answers as needed. So you're going to type in a negative 4, comma, 9. Now what told me to type in the negative 4 first? Which way you've been reading all your life? Left to right, Masalama. Right to left, Masalama. Right to left, Masalama. Right right so, Masalama means going peace. So, let's type in negative 4 and 9. And we feel good about ourselves. So we don't put thousands of dollars of video equipment in a $500 car. Or thousands of dollars of rims on a $500 car. Y'all haven't seen anything like that, have you? All right, 52, 52, 52, 52. I thought there was another 50 up here. Yep, 59. 5.759 slash 14. I think I'm doing your homework for you. Hot dog, there we go, now we talking. Parabola, this is Math 110 material. 
Find the x-intercepts. Well, that's another word that says factor, find, set equal to zero. Because when you set y equal to zero, you're finding the what? Yep. You might want to write that down so you remember it. So you remember it. So you can remember it. That's it. You plug, you plug in x right here, zero, you get negative 12. So that number right there is negative 12 right here. I gotta get this up and drink, people. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to excuse me for a minute. Y'all can sit in here and talk about me while I leave. Heck, God, I tell you what. Vanna, I'm gonna fire you. That was me. two guys right here. And when you factor and set equal to zero, you're basically with a quadratic, with a quadratic or a trinomial like that. That's what you're finding. So you don't want to forget this because you're going to see it later on in college algebra.
Okay, now if that happens, if that happens on test or anything, I'll be prepared. I just didn't know that it would just be like, it's like, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But the good thing about this problem is I really like these problems and I like to get them on test because they get you ready for college algebra. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you how to get that one also. That's the line. So for the x-intercept, you just do what we've been doing. Zero is equal to x squared minus x minus 12. Zero is equal to parentheses, parentheses, x, x, and 12, the 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So how do I know it's 3 and 4? Because there, any time, you didn't see this middle term. It's one. Anytime that one's one, you're going to have a combination of the two closest numbers. So that'd be a three here and a four here. What does this sign mean? The four has to be what? And that means one. So your answer is negative three. Or and sorry and uh, positive four and that's good enough for government work. This is good enough for government work. I don't care as long as you get it on there. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. I just, I just might as well just quit. All right. Now, this is just added for your information and for the future. To get the wider set, you just plug in zero for what? And it will always be C. Because everything else what? Cancels out. So negative 12, 0, negative 12 is your line of set. So go down, negative 12, and that is. So whatever this guy is in the future, whatever C is, that's your line of set. And that's very important because in college algebra next semester, or whenever you take it, hopefully you'll take it with me. I'm just saying, I thought that teacher was wrong or whatever you want. Um, I'll ask, I'll say, what's our y intercept? And two, two out of 30 people will say, maybe 12, and the other 28 people will go, how'd you get there? So, that's how. Okay. So, you don't worry about that. If you type in 4 and negative 3, and it marks it wrong on the test, you just come see me after class, okay? That's a challenge. You know, if you think you got the right answer and it marked it off, if you got a 2.6 and the, and the uh, test is 2.59 and it doesn't say round to a certain thing, I will be lenient. But if it says round, or if it says put in parentheses, I don't know if it says that or not. It does, in a way, it says type as an ordered pair. And an ordered pair is... You got to include the zeros, but not many people know that. So, ordered pairs a 25 cent word for coordinates. Remember that. When you see ordered pair, that means type it as a coordinate. Okay. All right. I didn't forgot. No yawning in class either. All right. So that's 59. We've got two 63s, so we'll do the 63s. If they're the same numbers, we won't do it twice, but if they're different numbers, we'll do both of them. This is 5.76315. I am doing y'all's homework. I think I've done 12, 13, 14, and 15. Here we go. Go to it. I'll go back and repeat myself. Hold on. No, I'll go back and repeat myself. That's okay. 
5.763 slash 15. You. You're welcome. take medicine this morning? going to be 0 is equal to 3x squared plus 10x minus 25. We know it's reverse FOIL because of the what? 3 and the negative. So 0 is equal to parentheses, parentheses, 1x and 3x and 1 and 25, 5 and 5. And this one's going to be easy because the 5 and 5 is going to help us out. And we don't have to switch it because it's the same number. Duh. Okay, so we want a positive here, so that means the 15 has to be what? And this means. Yeah. Now, how do you call that? That's not difficult. Because you're following the same procedure that we're seeing the time. And you're not changing the most of the next time. Zero is equal to x plus 5. And 0 is equal to 3x minus 5. I'll do this one for you. Negative 5. There you go. Now this one's going to be what? 5 thirds? Mm -hmm. Priority 1 message coming in and on secure channel. Negative 5 and 5 thirds. So we're going to type them in. Let me erase this incorrect answer right quick. I don't know whose it was. I'm just picking on it. Okay. Negative 5, comma, 0. And 5 thirds, comma, oops, comma, 0. And that should be correct. Did I not type it in correctly? Let me move over and see what I did wrong. Oh, they read from right to left. Masalama. Which one? Oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> Duh. That would be a challenge, and I would give you points for it. Okay? Alright, let's do the other one, see if the numbers are different. That way you'll have a couple in your book. 
to do. Miss Ashley sent this. Okay, there you go. What? She had all, she's got to get the last word in there. She's always got to get the last word in there. I believe that's in the female gene. Huh? It is. It's in the female gene. Yeah. Right under the perfect gene. It's right there, right with the perfect gene. Okay. What? Why does it hurt? Do you have a wreck or something? No, okay, you got drunk and fell off the porch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what they all say. What have you noticed as you're doing the homework problems as you do the, these reverse FOIL problems? Wow. They become easier. Maybe I should start saying that. The more you do, the easier it gets. But that would require repetition, which would require work. I was watching River Monsters, and and the guy on River Monsters, the guy with the curly white hair, the, the biologist, he's a biologist, you know that? I was doing a documentary interview, whatever, with him, and he said, you know, I've grown up all my life, and the harder you work, the better things are for you. And I was like, oh my God, he said that in the United States. That's not true. Some of that completely went over your heads. Some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. You just need to read the news or watch the news and you know what I'm talking about. Alright. That's what we used to believe in there. Alright. The zero is equal to 5x squared plus 8x minus 4. 0 is equal to parentheses, parentheses, 1x, and 5x. And the reason I go ahead and put that is because 1x and 5x is what 5x squared is what? Y'all were paying attention to me or not paying attention to me. I think I made a note about the phone, right? I did make a note about being able to consider it. Okay, that's, that's a warning shot for those two or three people that are on their phones. Alright, one and four, two and two. I'm going to go with the two and two, but I don't think that's going to work. We'll try. Two and two. Yeah, it will. Because two times five will give us what? Ten. So 10 and 2, we need a what? A positive, so that means the 10 is what? Positive, and this means unlike. 
So we've got zero is equal to x plus two, and zero is equal to five x minus two. Negative two is one answer, and two fifths is the other answer. So let's see if we can type it in and put the commas where they need to be. Parentheses, negative two, comma, zero, close parentheses, comma, open parentheses, two fifths, comma, zero. Well done. I get a star. Everybody good on those two? Good. All right, that's 63. Okay, 85 is next. This is 5.6, 85, 22. So far, all of these are test questions. So somebody's doing a good job picking them out. Oh yeah, that's a test question. I'm sorry, say again. Well, how can, oh, okay. Well, well, I've already got it on the board now, so. I appreciate you bringing that up, though. Break down that, please. So 3a squared plus 4ac minus 15c squared. Reverse FOIL. 1, 3, 8, 1 and 15, 3 and 5. We've got somewhat of a small number here, so I'm going to go with 5 and 3. So three here and a five here, that'll give us a nine and a four, I mean a nine and a five. So a positive nine and a negative five. So that'll be A plus three, equal to T. And then A, three A minus five T. Hmm? It's what? Oh, I thought you said it was wrong. Remember, enunciate. Did I get it right? Of course I did. It. What? Maybe. Uh huh. I'm not going to interact. All right. Okay. We good? We good with questions? Now, y'all want to have a test on chapter five, and then let's have a test on chapter six. All right. Let's make one up if I haven't already loaded. Let's see, I need to go to the handy dandy. And this is what I usually do. If I don't pull it up, I'll, I mean, I don't, if I don't have one made, I'll make one. Let's see what we got now. Let's see what tests I've loaded. Okay, I haven't loaded any. Let's go see if I've got any out there.
import copy next no yawning in class choose there I do have one let's see let's try last summer maybe that one that's something use this one. At least I don't have to do a template. You can change it. Hubert's Unit 1 test and we'll call it Chapter 5. I'm sorry. What? No, I took penicillin. Orchata. Okay, I will try it. I go to El Roro's. Down 24. That's where I go. In fact, when you go into there, say, I want Mucho Medicina. Medicina. And they'll know you're my student. Yep. Say, mucho medicina. And they'll go, you know medicina? And they go, yeah, I know medicina. I'm medicina. You need, I, I go there when nobody's there. <laughs> you have to uh, tell them, say, I want mucho medicina. And they'll go, medicina? <laughs> All right, chapter five, unit one test. We'll say, chapter... Five. And next, and I'll take off all of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll take off all of chapter six. Each individual question picks out of ten questions. So your your number one may be somebody's number eight, and that number one on yours picks from ten questions, and the number eight on somebody else's picks from ten questions. It's called pooled questions. So is there any way for somebody to get two tests that are the same? No. They won't be in the same order, they won't be the same numbers, and they won't be the same questions. Alright, so there's y'all's test. I'm going to add some to it. First of all, I'm going to add my easy questions, which somebody will miss. But let's see, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You get these on every test. Should everybody get them all right? Yeah, do they? No. All right, now let's go to, let's see what we got. We got chapter five, six. Let me go to five, six, and seven, because that's what I've got. Five, seven, nine. questions have I got so far? 20 questions, but I've only got one. There's, thir there's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that means you only got seven questions. So, seven. I'm sorry, what? No, it doesn't have to because you're. Oh, six. I'm sorry. Miss Burdett, you think you're smart, don't you? God. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, she really cares about y'all. Yeah. Right, let me see what I've got in here. I've got 15.
I don't like to put primes on the test. That's what I'm looking for. Make sure they're not primed. I don't like the primes because they can mess y'all up. All right, 15, 17. Yep. That's why people should make hundreds on the homework, do they? Nope. Thirty-five, thirty-seven. Dang, I just pulled all of those out. Okay, here we go. Let's look at some of these hard ones. Thirty-one. Oh, I like that. I don't like those right there. Those take too much time. You have to, it takes 15 minutes to read it. Okay, there may be some questions that say factor by grouping. Just factor it. I don't teach but one method. And that's the reverse FOIL. How many questions is that? That's 23. Get two more. Maybe out of 5.7. 5.7 pretty much that's four point three. Okay, there's your test. 25 problems. I'll let y'all figure the math out. And today is the 18th of, I have no idea, let's see, that's 2004. There we go. June, May the what? At 8 o'clock. And I will put it off. That's 2016. Okay. July. Yeah. On the 25th at 11.59 p.m. Five times. Save and assign. You have work so now. that means, what does that mean about the uh, homework for Chapter 5? It needs to be done by tonight at midnight. Don't be coming here with no, oh, I don't want to hear it. You've had a week. What, what week is this? It's our second week, right? Y'all should be finished. But just for the crybabies, I'll give you till tomorrow night. Because I know there's somebody in here going to give me a five grandmother, five dead grandmother excuse, and I don't feel like hearing it. So let's look at the test. Two. 
like it's going to be the same. But at least you can see what kind of questions will be on it. So you better get ready to write. But they're going to be very similar. So look at that one. And I just want you to write down. You can work on it for homework. Solve using the principle of zero products. Well, we've been doing this. B times B plus 2 is equal to zero. What are you going to do with those? Set them equal to what? Zero. So B is equal to what? Zero. And B is equal to? Negative. There you go. That's your answer. And if you want to see it, I think, yeah, zero, negative two. Yep. <laughs> somebody gets it wrong. I, I get somebody gets it wrong every semester. Which one? Why is it C? Why couldn't it be anything else? Say again? They don't make sense. Somebody gets it wrong. Huh? Oh, I have eleven I have thirteen of these and people get them wrong. Go ahead. 12x cubed minus 3x. Somebody tell me what you're going to factor out. How much? 3x. Good. All right, just write down the question. 12x cubed minus 3x. We're going to move on because I ain't got much time. What's in common? Be careful. F. F's in common. And I'll give you a second. That's kind of hard to write down real quick. F G squared plus F X squared. You might want to blow these up, Banna, so everybody can see them. I'm not going to write, so just blow them up and get it centered where everybody can see them. Let me go a little bit. Okay. Next one. Number five. You sure? I mean, my my grade book. I mean, I figure our grade book. I thought it would be temperatures of you know, or coconut. This is the most asked question in the end of the semester. Uh, is the grade book, is that my grade? Nope. It's the temperature, predicted temperature on July 4th. Now, this one has already been factored. You just got to finish it. I don't like the way this one is written, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. This is like the third step of a four-term polynomial. You have two things that are in common. What do you do with those two things? Bring them down. So that would be m plus 4n times what? And then that's it. So you just need to, that's the third step. You need to write the fourth step. Now remember, it's not going to be exactly like this. It's going to be a different order. This may be number 15 next time. It may be, it may have a X and a Y. It may be, but it will be a similar. You feel really confident? Okay, well I need to fix that. When does the homework terminate? Yeah, before the test starts. But I gave y'all... This is your first test, so I'm giving you all a couple of days. Okay? What branch? Marines. Thank you. The worst one you could say is Army. Sorry. Factor completely. Oh, and all these information on these questions, where can they be found? 
on the handouts. I'm going to talk about the, 11, the thir 13 questions on classes. They all can be found in where? The handouts and the syllabus that I sent out that y'all did not read. I'm sorry. That probably seven of y'all read. The other three or four don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Is this a perfect square? Is it a shortcut? Yes, it is. Shortcut number one. Anybody want to go for 11? Okay, write it down short and put shortcut number one. Next question. We just did these. C squared plus 7C plus 10 is equal to 0. 5 and 2 are 2 and 5 because 2 plus 5 is 7. So you know it's going to be C plus 2 and C plus 5. Number 11. Will Hubert's final exam be online? Yes. Oh, I don't need to answer that. Solve by factoring. Okay. Uh, the first thing I would do is I would use the FOIL method and factor that. I would I would put that back together and then bring the 79 over and refactor. That's what I would do. Do your FOIL and get 9y squared. Let's see, 9 plus, plus 20y plus 99 equals 79. And then bring the 79 over and then refactor. That's what I would do. So you get 9y squared plus 20y minus 20 is equal to 0, something like that. And then refactor and solve equals 0. Yeah, well, I'll do it this one. If Van will bring it down for me. Who asked for this? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use the FOIL method, and that'll give me 9y squared plus. That'll be 9. Oh, that was more. That'll be 81 plus 11. Be 92. Somebody help me out. Plus 99 is equal to 79. Is that what y'all got? Did y'all get that? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I just said. 81 plus 11. Oh, okay. Won't that be 92? Okay. And then 9y squared plus 92y plus 99 minus 79 is equal to zero. Nine y squared plus ninety-two y minus twenty is equal to zero. One, nine, three, and three. One, twenty, two, ten. Four, five. That number is pretty big. So you might have to use some of the outside terms. I have no idea. So, huh? Okay. So then you got to find 
I don't think it's going to be three and three and four and five, not with that big number right there. I think it's going to be a nine and a ten or nine and twenty or something. So I'm going to go with the one and the nine, just because that number is big. One Y, nine Y. And I'm going to put a ten right here. Why? Because ten times nine is what? Ninety. So that's why I'm thinking at ten times what? Two. And I have no idea if that'll work or not, but let's see. One times two is what? It's a miracle. Plus goes with the ninety. And what does that mean? Like. So y plus ten is equal to zero. And 9y plus 2 is equal to 0. Negative 10 is one answer. That's one x-intercept. And the other x-intercept is negative 2 ninths. Y-intercept is 99. I'm so good to y'all. All right, next one. Factor the trinomial. Reverse F O I L. Why? You got two reasons. What's not? Live in the 12. I'm sorry. I'll have to share with you in class when I get off the computer. Get up in quarters. Remind me. Since that's a thorn in y'all's sides, because people don't like to do it because they have to work to learn how to do it. Parentheses, 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 that's going to be a 1x and a what? 5x. Nobody will screw that up because there is no other numbers that can fit 5. So you can't screw that up. So 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. This is a fairly big number. But I'm thinking 20, so I'm going to go with 4 and 3 because 4 times 5 is what? Will you start picking this up as you do more and more problems? Yes. Kind of like when you play the piano, there's different ways to hit a certain note. Some people use this finger, some people use the rubber finger. Same thing. Three X, they go twenty X, they go twenty three X. Got positive, so that means twenty has to be positive. This means what? Like. Right. I guarantee you. You don't have to raise your hand. I guarantee you. There's somebody in here going. This isn't all hard at all. Why couldn't it be like this in high school? Well, your attention was somewhere else, and the teacher probably said. All right, fourteen. Does Hubert replace your lowest test grade with your final exam grade? What, what's the only possible answer? 
No way, no how. Factor the following. Uh-oh, we've done this one. We did this one in class, did we not? It's only one step. Because what happens to the x to the 14th? It becomes prime because it turns into what? X to the what? 7th. And that's prime. So you only got one step and that's shortcut number what? 3. Shortcut number 3. Remember, to use the shortcuts, what's the first two what's the first two requirements to even start using the shortcuts? What are they? You got a what? Which means you have to what? And memorize it. Okay? Memorize it. And what's the second requirement? You have to know your perfect what? Squares and cubes. And if you don't know them, just skip them. Just if you don't know them and you don't know your perfect squares, just skip the problem and go to something you do know. Because you're not going to know it. Why does Hubert not entertain extra credit, extra points, dropping any grades during the final week of the semester? Huh? D. He awards me extra points for these type questions on test, and he drops the lowest two grades on each unit. Now that's a, that's a mistake. On this test, what am I going to drop? Your lowest what? There's five tests. There's five ex there's five attempts. So I'm going to drop four. I'm going to keep your highest grade. Okay. So on this one, you just hit D. Usually, I just give y'all, you know, three chances. But on the factoring, I give you five. Unless I like you and I give you five on all the others, but if I don't like you, I'll probably won't give you any. All right, what's this one? Shortcut or reverse FOIL? Reverse, why? Good job. Not prime, it's just not a perfect quote. So that would be reverse FOIL. So just write it down and put reverse. Unless you just like to spell F O I L, I say it. Most missed question of Hubert's bonus questions. Why is it most missed? Because people put 30, 30, 30. And what's wrong with that? It's equal freaking 100 during math class when people put 30, 30, 30. Those people should not procreate. What? Tell me about it. If you take several forms of a test in Hubert's class, how is it counted? B. In my math, my that. In my labs plus, what does grade book do? B. Which one is it? Now, why did I give y'all two of those? Because I'm getting tired of answering that question at the end of the semester. This is the first time I've put that in the. I put these two questions in the test. I'm getting tired of that. In all seriousness, I'm getting tired of it because I'm. I don't answer it. I don't reply to it. It just infuriates me. And I won't reply. Next question. When is the last day of this semester? I think I got this. Is it July? Okay. For 10 weeks. For 10 weeks. Okay. I'm sorry. That's a 10 week question. So I'll just make sure you put 17th. I can't change it right now. If I could, it'd mess up. Just go with the 17th. Y'all, that's 10 week. Sorry about that. I should put June, uh, June 16th in there. I wonder if I could do that. Okay, keep it July 17th. I wish y'all were July 17th. I'd rather have y'all all semester. Y'all pretty good class. All right, here we go. 
I would move the 7w over and then factor out of what? W. Factor out of w. w. So that'd be 6w squared minus 7w is equal to 0 and then factor out of w and you get w is equal to 0 and then 6w plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So w, w is equal to 0 and what? 7 sixths? Something like that. When is the week of finals? Okay, go with 10 weeks. Which one is the only possibility? Let's see. Okay. Where is all of Hubert's homework and tests done? In the kitchen. Yeah, see? And 25. I think we did one of those today, did we not? 3a squared plus 10ab minus 25b squared. Reverse FOIL. And that's it. Now, how difficult is that? What will eat you up on this test, though? The signs. Nope. The time. time. If you don't know your stuff, by the fifth test, you will. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How long did you have to do You? You only have 15 minutes. The rest of the class has an hour. I think I give y'all 90 minutes. 90 minutes is well enough time. Well, by the fifth time you take it, guess what? You'll know them. All right, let me get the roll. Because some of y'all are in a hurry. Y'all y'all hurt my feelings this morning, so I'm not. Y'all have. Y'all hurt my feelings two or three times. My self-confidence is going to go down tomorrow. I have to go put smokestacks on my truck. I thought my truck would look good with smokestacks on it. I do like the truck. Yeah, but it's dirty right now. You hadn't seen it? Oh, it's dirty because I sprayed it with... I was spraying the pastures the other day and I halfway sprayed it with herbicide, so it's dirty. Huh? No, just turn it off. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, shut this off.